Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time y'all watching this. Yo, what's good? It's Marky Walker from Boston. We're going from Boston to, we're going to Boston. We're going to Brownsville, New York. Come on, stop playing. Billy Dan's, man. Half, 150% of MOP. Yo, so Billy Dan's got a producer, Too Busy. The Verdict's producer. This dude is dope, though. I got an album called The Listening Session. The Listening Session. Yo, this shit is dope. It came out November 15th, 2020. It's about 36 minutes and, um, like, 56 seconds. So, basically, like, 37 minutes, man. Not that long for the listening ears. This will keep your attention anyway, because if you know who Billy Dance is... Uh, you know, they say half an MOP, you know he's gonna keep your attention, you know what I'm saying, with his voice, because his voice is an instrument, and he's, yo, just, yo, you, you know what I'm talking about. Listen, the last MOP album was like six years ago. Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, they and they both been doing their solo career, Lil Fame been doing their solo career, they've been do, both doing the solo joints, and they've been doing, like, jumping on other people's projects here and there, so... Maybe this is a, a since Lil Fame did a couple of joints, did some albums. Now this he dropped this album, so maybe they coming out with an MOP album. Maybe not by the end of the year, maybe next year. Hopefully we're blessed with an MOP album. Next year. Hopefully we see what that coming out. But yo, number one, don't believe ya. Um, producers first major debut project. So this is the producers too busy. First actual whole project. Like, he'd been doing singles over there, singles over there. He wasn't really known. You know, people were like, oh, that's kind of hot, that's kind of hot. You know, you know how producers start. You know, how it start off. That's how you get in the game, producer. Throw your beats out there. You never know who's listening. And, um, and then he got caught on. He got with Billy Dance, man, and did the whole album. Um, Dance is in real form, man. He's in, like, 1998 prime form like he's in like he he's screaming at the top of his lungs he's he's riding these beats like they're his bitch you know what i'm saying he's killing it you know what i'm saying bars are just all day and like the bars are hip-hop this dude's hip-hop and like just the way he rhymes and the way he rhymes about is hip-hop is like and a lot of people can relate to what he's saying the average Joe can relate to what Billy Dance is saying in these rhymes, so that's why they're more catered to, like, kind of street, you know what I'm saying? Average Joe type of person, but you know what I'm saying? People that got the money, too, you know what I mean? He got bars for that, too, so he's kind of like, he got bars all day for everything. He got different subjects, different, you know, he's, he's, he's killing killing it on this joint. Especially this joint, this is the leading joint, he just comes off, just comes off hard, right? Don't believe you. Yo, listen. We believe you. At least I believe you, man. This joint's fire. Billy dancing too busy. You already started it off. That's only number one. I'm going crazy about number one. Number two, Gotham feature Method Man. Ooh. Now, I thought Method Man was going to come in here and be like, he just take over the mic. Like, just, you know what I mean? Sometimes Method Man come to a feature and he just like, you know what I mean? He just come out and try to kill you. You know what I'm saying? And usually that's, that's the case. Method Man or sometimes old members that get on other people's albums, they usually destroy it. But this this joint, I think they was kind of equal, man. They, they went bar for bar on this one. Uh, it, it worked out. You know, so they got samples on here from Dark Knight Rises, Batman. So it does feel like that. It feels like a dark um, beat. And speaking of Method Man, Method Man played it in one of the Batmans, right? Uh, well, he did. No, not didn't play one of the Batman. That means he did a song on the Batman soundtrack. So like, he's familiar with the movie. Was he in the Batman? No, he wasn't in it. I don't think they gave him a part, did they? I'm like thinking he was in it too. Yeah, I, no, I don't know. I know he just did a um I know he did this the song. The song was dope. Uh yeah, Meth's bringing it back to the nineties too on this man. That Meth yo, Meth's in his bag, man. y'all know what Meth's doing. Uh both MC shine, they felt equal. Yo, go check out Meth on um Lemon Squeeze, Lemon Squeeze on the Conway joint, dog. Uh let's get to number three. It's called Cyrus. Uh, this sounds like uh, some underground funk club, like you know what I mean, banger. Like it's it's this dude's beats are incredible, man. Um, 
Billy Dan sounds uh, like so comfortable in this production. Not just this song, but the entire production of Too Busy. I don't know when they met or how many, you know, how long it took them to do this album, but it, it links. They link. Uh, great. This is a great combination. They need to do more and more work, not just this album. So Billy Dance, keep working with Too Busy. Too Busy, keep working with Billy Dance. You know what I'm saying? Start playing. Y'all got that, you know what I'm saying? If y'all do that M.O.P. album, just have Too Busy do it. Does it sound like, he, like he's already in y'all, he's in that atmosphere, y'all voice tone, the way y'all vocals are. You know what I'm saying? He's all, the vocals are instruments, so he's already in that, that rock and roll type of soulful type of beats, man. So y'all got to keep it this dude. Stay with this dude. Number four, Southern Man. Funky licks with soulful tunes woven in with a good measure. I'm just writing down crazy stuff. But um, but this was like a soulful Sunday church uh, beat. Like, you know, it, it got me, you know, it got me waving the Bible. And then it got me waving the gun at the same time. I got both in my hands. You know what I'm saying? I got the gun and the Bible. I'm like this. Ah, this is the Bible. I got the Bible and the strap. This, that's what this song made me want to do at the same time, you know what I'm saying? But like, these beats are like soulful, these beats are like, it got the little, got the rock effect in it. So it's like kind of like rock, rap, soul, soulful type of church, churchy things, feelings in it. So it got me waving both, the gun and the Bible, God damn it. But, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's go to number five, which is Damn, featuring a lot of buggy and Frontline Love. These, these, yo, these, these names. But La Boogie, Frontline Love, y'all did y'all thing on this track, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. This beat got, got me in a zone. And like the producer Too Busy is different, man. His beats have like his own personality. His beats, like if you listen, not just this beat, but just listen to this album. I don't have to start tracking down Too Busy's work. I'm gonna probably just type, type in minutes to see what else he did in the past. But he put his foot in this, he put his foot, he put his foot in this joint, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of like, it is Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's the holidays. I don't really want to date the video, but you know, this, I'm doing it on Thanksgiving. I uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We can, you know, that, I guess that can be happen. that could be for every year. Um, Yeah, man, but uh, he really put his foot in this, man. He put his foot in his green, in them greens. That's what I was going to say, because I was thinking about Thanksgiving. Y'all know who cooks the good, the best greens, dog. You see your auntie, grandmother, somebody. And then some people always think they can cook greens. Nah, it's a perfection in that. But let's have the talk. Let me get off the subject. Um, the chorus uh, with a damn, damn, damn. It's just like dope. The way it's like, it's melodic. You know what I'm saying? Got you, you know, got me thinking about it. I'll be sleeping like, damn, damn, damn. I'll be thinking about, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, good times. When uh, Florence was like, damn. Damn, damn! Like, I can't do it. Yeah. I, I told you I can't do impressions, but y'all do it. What impressions can y'all do? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm bad at them. Um, so yeah, the boogie and frontline uh, brought a different vibe. But Billy tone, Billy, Billy toned down his, uh, you know, his, uh, his his signature loud flow. I would say. Um, and this is one of my favorite tracks on the album. It's really, really good. I like this, you know, because you don't have to yell all the time. I just did a video about Meek Mill. I don't know if it was about Meek Mill, but I mentioned Meek Mill in a video recently. I was like, why you, why you gotta keep yelling, man? Like, he just be yelling all the time. You gotta relax. Yeah, I think he was on The Baby. The Baby. <laughs> I did a review on The Baby album, and Meek Mill's on that. And I was like, yo, why does Meek Mill gotta yell all the time? Like, so, it's like Billy Dance, Lil Fan. Y'all don't gotta yell all the time. Like, that, that was a perfect joint. I'm telling you, I like that joint, damn. I think Billy Dance could do a couple more joints like that. You know what I'm saying? We, we, you know, we got you. We get your point. You know, you have to yell all the time. You feel like my father or something. Yelling at me you know, on the mic there. All right, number six, We Busy. Uh, this is like the rock rap track. And it got, it's, it's a perfect blend with uh, you know, Billy uh, Dance's voice. You know, like that's why I say you could, do a, you could do a rock album. You could do a rock album. MOP could do a rock album. I don't know why they don't do that. Get that market too. Yeah, y'all better get me. Y'all get together, do a rap. Y'all should just do a double album. Do a rock album, rap album, and, and it'd be a double album. Just give me 10%, dog. Because I just gave y'all the best, greatest idea in the world. So, and use this dude as a producer. Too busy. Too busy got to be on this. You know what I'm saying? But yo, that would be dope. All right, number six again, We Busy. 
Um, yeah, question for, for Billy for Billy Dance. Um, I want to ask you a question, sir. What kind of tea do you, do you drink? You drink it with honey. Tell me how you make it because you a little fame got them voices. Y'all, it's like I know y'all yelling. You know what I'm saying? There's certain MCs like like I said, Meek Mill. What kind of tea you drink? You got you drink honey, you sugar, what do you brown sugar? Like, give us the give us give us the give us a remedy because y'all be you know what I'm saying? Y'all could do interviews the next day after y'all yelling and screaming and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yo, mask up, man. Mask up, baby. We selling masks. We selling. Hoodies, we selling now, and t-shirts, we selling all types of stuff, man. Yo, we selling leggings and spandex. Yo, stop playing merch, man. Gotta get that merch, man. That's how I live, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to eat, man. Come on, man. Purchase something if you can. Appreciate it. You know, you can always cash out me too for this free content, baby. You know what I mean? But um, nah, I love to do this though, man. So number seven, one to grow on featuring havoc. Now, I thought Havoc was about to rhyme, but Havoc's just on some chorus type shit now. Like, Havoc just, he did, he did the chorus in the Conway joint. And King said, God, he did, you know what I'm saying? I thought he was going to rap on that. He did the beat. He didn't do the beat on here, but he did the beat on Conway and he did the chorus on it. But he just does the chorus. I'm like, come on, Havoc, what do you do? You got to rap. We want, like, you can rap too. You know what I'm saying? Like, rap, man. I don't know. I'm like, ugh. But these beats and samples are ridiculous, man. This producer's in his bag, I'm telling you. Like, I, I think I, I think so I checked off every joint for, um, like, you know, for, for, could be song of the year. I put it, you know what I'm saying? I nominate certain songs for certain albums, song of the year. And then I put them in a batch and I keep listening to them every day, every day. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then eventually I just keep writing down songs I really, really like. And then I'm going to do like a top 10, top 20 at the end of the year. I'm going to do singles, albums, like a top album, top single, top MC. I see. If you wanted me to do any other top something, put it in the comments what you think I should do, like a top what? Like a top, give me the subject, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, Havoc, he just did this, you know what I'm saying? He just did the, he got me excited on this beat, man. This is one of my, I like this song too. But listen, this is the group, Antia, uh, Cold as Ice, and then they originated with like, got everybody's attention. How about some hardcore? That was like one of their first songs like they came out with. Yeah, people were like, yo, who are these dudes? Brownsville, who, what, what's going on over there? You know what I mean? But, how about some hardcore? How about some hardcore? Yeah, but yo, that was dope. Number eight. So give me, give me all track. I'm thinking about songs. Um, Take a Step featuring DJ Premier. Come on, the king, the legend, DJ Premier. Uh, great blame with both producers. I heard they work well together. Um, so, you know, that's, that's just a shout out to Unity, you know what I'm saying, working together in this industry. Uh, the beat, samples, and Billy's voice as an instrument is like the perfect blend on this record. And it's not the whole record, it's the whole album, man. I told you, like, they work very well together. They gotta continue, they gotta continue. Number nine, the beginning, uh, it's an interlude uh, featuring Little Fame. It basically, you know, uh, it just revving us up, it's revving us up, it's revving us up for the MOP reunion, which is this song, next song, number 10. That time featuring Little Fame. Oh my God, this song is dope. Listen, this track right here. If you ain't in your house, if you in your house bumping this track, and you haven't hit somebody with a cheer by now, you better turn it up so you can hit somebody with a cheer. Cause this this got you. This song got me pumped. It got me in the MOP days, man. I feel like it's you know 19 when they start. Did they start 82, 83, something like that? Was it 90? It was a 90. 93. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it was 92, 93. But like, yeah, yeah, 92, 93. Then when they kind of started. But I feel like the, that's the MOP, the anti up. Like this song got me thinking it's like another it's another anthem. It's like an anti up. It's like a this song's the anthem right here. This song right here is the anthem with friggin' um Lil Fame, yo. That time. So that time. We're going to be talking about that time. You know, like we talk about Annie Up and Cold as Ice. We're going to be talking about that time. And this whole album, too. We're going to be talking about this album. I like this album. I really do. Man, this album is really, really catchy. It's really good. The music's good. Um, You know, Billy Dance is like intrigued and intertwined with these beats. And he's doing a great, great freaking job uh, with this solo album. This is a great album. I ain't going to lie. It's got to be his best album. 
I'm gonna say right. This is Billy Gans' best album right now, at least right now, until right now. Um, it's, it kind of sound better than I. Uh, should I say it's better than some of the MOP albums? I don't know. Let's fight in the comments. Let's talk about it. Nah, but um, yeah, this is just this track got me amped. Like I, I don't know, I don't know what else to say about it. I, you know, I love the combination. Hopefully, they come out with an album soon. Let's go, man. Let's go, guys. Pressure's on. Let's get the album done, man. Use this producer. Stop playing. Uh, number 11, uh, Don't Want It. This is, uh, your chorus is off the hook. I love the chorus. Uh, new levels to this production. Like, it, it sounds like when you just listen to it, I'm just chilling, I'm relaxing. And I got it bumping out the speakers. I'm just like, yo, I'm hearing every little sound in these songs, man. And these samples in these songs. Like, it's crazy. I love it, man. Great producer. You know, great, 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 great producer, man. Too busy? You're getting your flowers right now, man. Stop playing. And uh, Billy Dan's voice is great, you know, with all the beats, too. So, you know, I keep, I keep saying that, but I just got to keep saying it. Number 12, respect some shit featuring Daz Dillinger from the West Coast. Yo, Dad, listen. When Daz come on, he got me throwing up gang signs or no gang. I don't even just throwing up stuff. Think of this gang sign. I don't know. You got me on the West Coast. The beat sound like it's from the West Coast, too. It sound like at least West Coast driven. You can tell it got like a little boom bap in it, but it's like more West Coast than anything. So it fits Daz the most. But uh, the track didn't lose Billy Dance either, so he flowed on it, too. So it was a good track. I like the track. Uh, number 13, Worship the Ground featuring Cormega. I don't know, man. This is the one I didn't like. I like the whole, every, every, every track. It's 13 tracks. I like every, I'm going crazy about every track. I'm all over the 12. I get the 13. I can't, it says worship the ground. I can't worship the ground on, that the song's on. I can't worship this song at all. Uh, cool, man. I mean, they, they rhymed okay. The, the beat was okay. It just, it just, I don't know. Maybe it didn't fit the album. I just feel like it didn't fit the album. Like they, they just threw it on or something. Like it could have been a bonus joint or something. Maybe if they put a bonus joint on it. I would have accepted it or something. Like they just, that means they just threw it on, but they could have left that off, man. I'm going to tell you, listen, listen, bro. Let me tell you about this album. 12, let's say 13 cuts. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, it's, I got, yo, 10 out of the 13, I'm putting in rotation for single to year. 10, I like 10, 10 joints of dope as hell. Like they, they going in. And then the other the other one I like was you know um, respect some shit with Daz Dillinger shout out to the West and then like there was a you know the interlude I liked was like it's guess it's just an interlude just like real quick setting up for the the one I really like so so it was like the interlude then respect it's like basically like 12, 12 song twelve out of thirteen songs are bangers bangers right you know the interlude's on a song but you know what I'm saying so eleven. I said 11, so 11 songs, one interlude, uh, and then Worship was on, you know what I mean? If I had to rate, rate this album, shoot, man, out of five mics. Yo, don't forget to, to like, subscribe, ring the bell, because I'll be doing the videos, I'll be doing live videos. Comment, man, give me a question, you know, um, try to stump me with singles I've never heard of. Uh, try to, like, uh, maybe recommend some albums that are classic to me. Uh, maybe I'll check those out. Um, stuff like that, but um, if I had to give this five mics, one to five mics, like the source, I like this album. That one, that one track kind of eh. They would have left that one track off, man. Billy Dance, too busy. Your listening session. All right, man. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five. It's not a classic, but I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Billy Dance, you did your thing on here. And this producer, man, oh my God, you blend so well. We're too busy. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five mics. Great record. I recommend it. You know what I mean? Stop playing, go listen to this joint. Yo, man, I can't wait to y'all reunite and do M-O-P. Come on, you gotta do it, man. You gotta do at least one more album. Come on, man. So, yo, I'm coming back from Brownsville, New York. The Bean Town, dog. Bean Town, Bean Town, Bean Town, Bean. 
to the bean, 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 bean town. All right, yo. Support if you can, yo, the merch. You know what I'm saying? Blog, like, subscribe. You know what I mean? Ring that notification bell. Comment, baby. Bean town.